All right, ladies and gents, we're now about to subject our two soil samples to the flame test. So what we see here, we have our Bunsen burner already lit. We have our two soil samples, crime scene and suspect. And at the back there, we have a little beaker of nitric acid for essentially decontaminating our sampling equipment. Now, I know what you're saying. Why are we doing a flame test on soil? Well, interestingly enough, the color that the soil burns when we subject it to the flame indicates the different minerals that are inside the, the soil. So for example, if we see orange, we might say there's calcium present, or if it's yellow, it's sodium. Green would indicate copper or barium, red, lithium or strontium, white, magnesium. If it burns blue, it might be some sort of oxygenated compound, and if it burns yellow with soot, it means there's some sort of benzene type compound that would be found in things like oil or gas contamination of the soil. So these are really important things that we can find out by just doing a, a very simple flame test on our soil sample. So how do we conduct a soil sample? Well, first you need a spatula to sample your soil sample with. Before we use it though, we're going to make sure that it is completely sterilized and free of any contamination. So we're going to dip it into our nitric acid, like so, stir it around a bit, and then we are going to flame it off. So by doing this, we make sure that any compounds that might be clinging to the spatula are removed. And you can see it's kind of burning with some different colored flames. So that means we're removing some impurities and some contaminating compounds. Once our spatula is flamed off, we're going to take a spatula full of our first soil sample, which is going to be our crime scene sample. Just going to introduce it and pick up a few granules of the soil itself. Like so, once we do that, we are going to introduce it to the flame. And if you look at it closely, you can see the flame itself is kind of an orange color. And there's lots and lots of sparkles coming off of our sample. And orange and sparkles indicate, well, I'll let you decide that when you look at our soil key. But one thing we know for sure is that our crime scene sample has both orange color and sparkles in the sample. We're going to reintroduce this to the nitric acid, swirl it around a bit, get any contamination off. And then we're going to do the same thing with our crime scene sample. So once again, we're going to flame off, I'm sorry, our suspect sample. So once again, we're going to flame off our spatula. Make sure it's nice and dry. And then we're going to introduce it and pick up a few granules of our crime scene uh, suspect sample. So once again, we're going to reintroduce this to the flame. And if we look at it closely, once again, orange and sparkles. Very similar to our crime scene sample. Our suspect sample also had orange and sparkles. So you're going to use that data, write it down on your data sheets, and then use the key and the next slide to determine what compounds are present in our sample.